Barnacles to tweak. Ready for progress report. Go ahead, Cap. It's looking good down here. The legs are attached. <laughs> and the door is secure. Thanks, Captain. Super, super! Oh! Uh, the last two computers are in place on the upper level. Thanks, Professor. It looks like we're ready. What do you think, Tweak? Cap, it's time to put all the parts of our brand new deep sea Octolab together. Octonauts and Vegemals, prepare for full assembly. Ready? Ready. Activate full assembly, Tweak. You got it, Cap. <laughs> full assembly complete. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. marvelous. Super, super! Octonauts. Welcome to the Deep Sea Octolab. Wow. Fantastic. Very nice. Mm. Yowzers. Octonauts, our mission is to take the Deep Sea Octolab all the way down to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is the deepest, darkest place on Earth, mateys. And once we've set up the Octolab, Dashie and Shellington will stay for a few weeks while the rest of us return to the Octopod. We're just going to leave them behind in the deepest, darkest place on Earth? Yes. Absolutely. We'll be the first scientists to live and study down in the trench. We'll be able to take pictures of parts of the deep sea that no one has ever seen. And discover new creatures, I hope. And do it all in a place so dangerous that even pirates have never gone there. That sounds like a big job for only two octonauts. Don't worry, Peso. Tweak and I have invented some helpers. Meet the Octobots. I've programmed the Octobots to help with our research. They have video cameras for eyes, so we can see what they see. And they can collect rocks from the sea floor. <laughs> Tunip wants to show you his favourite invention. The veggie bar! The veggie bot is programmed to provide all the comforts of home. Oh, thank you, veggie bot. Uh, no more kelp cakes for me, thank you. Ow! Oh, oh. Oh. Whoa! Incoming! Oh, dear. I'm still working out some glitches in the VeggieBots programming, but everything else is ready to go. Then let's hook the Deep Sea Octolab up to the Octopod and head for the Mariana Trench. <laughs> OK, that should fix the problem. Let's test it out, Tunip. I'd like one kelp cake, please, Veggie Bot. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's perfect. That's a fur Veggie Bot. Veggie Bot test successful. Very good. It looks like we're getting close to the Mariana Trench. Dashy, it's time to go downwards. I'm on it, Captain. Octonauts. The deeper we go, the darker it gets. Prepare to travel into the total darkness of the Midnight Zone. through these sea mountains to get down to the trench. Dashy, let's take it slow. These sea mountains. 
mountains are tall. Yes, some of them are taller than any mountain on dry land. There it is, the Mariana Trench. It looks like a humongous, bottomless pit of darkness. Yes, the trench is much too deep to see to the bottom from up here. So how do we know where to put the Octolab if we can't even see the bottom? We'll have to go down and look. Quasi, Shellington, you're with me. Time to get out of the gub and head for the very bottom. We've made it to the bottom! Whoa! It's a field of hydrothermal vents, but something's wrong. Isn't there supposed to be smoke and steam coming out? Look, Shellington, some of them have crumbled. Yes, active hydrothermal vents are hot and bubbly with lots of animals living round them, but they don't last forever. These vents have gone cold and fallen apart. Aye. And there's not a creature stirring. I'm in position. What's the report? You know I can't see very well, so just give me a moment to work it out. It's... it's... three different shiny creatures. Ooh, one of them has a long tentacle. Do they seem hungry? Are they coming to eat us? No! Everybody, snap to it! Hold your positions! Quiet. Captain, this area is fascinating. But we can't put the deep-sea octolab on top of these crumbling vents. Agreed. Let's keep looking for a better place. They're gone. Coast is clear. Oh, oh. Glad they didn't fly. Glad us. they didn't eat us. Ah, well, we're safe for now. Listen, everyone, I'm afraid we can't live around these hydrothermal vents anymore. They're too cold for us. We're going to march across this stretch until we find a new hydrothermal vent to call home. Somewhere nice and hot. With lots of steam and gas bubbling up. A place where baby tube worms, like us, can grow up to be giant tube worms. Aha! That's the spirit. Now then, come on, find a partner and don't forget the clam. Climb aboard, old friend. Sideways, march! We live in the midnight zone. We live in the midnight zone. In the dark but not alone. In the dark but not alone. Hmm, this area's nice and flat. I think we've found the perfect place for the deep sea octolab. Agreed. Barnacles to Dashy. Dashy here, Captain. We found our spot. Let's move the octopod into position. The octopod is in position, Captain. Very good, Dashy. The trench is too narrow for the octopod at the bottom, so the gut sea will take it part of the way. Ready, Tweak? Ready, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. All right, Tweak. On my signal, release the cable and let the Octolab fall into place. You got it, Cap. Ready, steady, drop. <laughs> Octonauts, the deep sea Octolab has landed. Let's turn on the lights and get to work. <laughs> I'm not a bit nervous about being down this deep anymore. The Octolab feels completely safe. Oh, it is safe, Peso. 
Sure, it's cold and dark out there, but we've got plenty of powerful light and heat. And I put the whole thing on legs, so it'll just bounce around without breaking a thing if we get hit by tremors. Tremors? You see, we're down so deep that there's only a thin layer of the sea floor between us and the hot, melted rock inside the Earth. Dashi? When pieces of the sea floor move around on top of the melted rock, they bump into each other, and we get tremors. The Octolab has special equipment that shows us whether or not there are any tremors close by. Let's turn it on. Looks like everything's calm and steady for now. No tremors. Phew. I hope it stays that way. We've collected some fantastic rock samples. The Octobots are working well. Aye! Uh-oh. Something's coming. Come on, boys. Time to roll. Uh-oh. I don't know. Not a clue. Shiba, shiba. Lorda, lorda. Shiba, shiba. I smell food. Smells good. Let's roll. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, I could eat a million of them. Ah, that's good. We live in the midnight zone. We live in the midnight zone. In the dark, but not alone. In the dark, but not alone. Everybody halt! I feel heat. Me too. And it's coming from this thing. Oh, a nice warm-up for cold claws. Indeed. Snap to it. Sideways, climb! Left, 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 left. Hmm, it's even warmer in here. Come on! Uh-oh, we've got a situation. Uh, I'm stuck. Chain of claws, everyone. One, two, three, pull! Yeah! Again, pull! Ah! Almost! All right, let's make this one count. One, two, three, pull! Ah! I think I better sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the lower deck. Octonauts, we've lost all power to the Octolab. I need to check the power generator, Cap. We'll light your way. <clears throat> I have to open it up. There's no telling who or what could be hiding in there. Hmm. Oh, something's coming. Hide, everyone. Oh, me oh my. A wire's been cut. But who would do that? Now that's the roar of a wire-cutting monster, if ever I heard one! Yow! Giant bugs! Easy now. No sudden moves. Oh, no worries. We can't move at all right now. Oh no. Are you all right? Oh, we're fine. Just really, really full. <laughs> uh, it's tough for us giant isopods to find food down here, so when we do... We eat and eat and eat until we can't eat anymore. Sometimes we eat so much that we're too stuffed to move for a while. Oh. Giant isopods. Fascinating. Most isopods are tiny, but down this deep the isopods are giants. But if you didn't cut the wire, then who did? Look behind you! <gasps> Stop! Uh-oh! Please don't hurt us! Don't worry, we won't hurt you. Oh, I'm sorry I cut your wire by accident. 
What were you doing in our power generator, mateys? It was nice and warm in there, and we like warm. We're looking for a nice hot hydrothermal vent to call home. We'll help you find a new home. But first, we need to get our power back. I'll just fix up this wire. <clears throat> that ought to do it. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back on. Control, Cap! Quasi, take the other Octo Buggy. Go after Tulip and the Veggie Bolt. Aye, aye, Cap. Shellington, you go that way. Uh, Dashy, you go that way. I'll go this way. Let's catch those Octo Bolts. Ah, there you are. Let me help you with that. <laughs> Shellington, Dashy, I'm heading back to the Octo Lab with the runaway Octobot. He's picked up a lovely big rock for your collection. Captain, thanks to this Octobot, I found a type of sea cucumber I've never seen before. <laughs> and this one is recording some beautiful glowing sea stars. How about you, Quasi? Have you caught up with the veggie bot? Not yet, Captain! Yeah! We're on the edge of a lake of boiling hot glue! It sounds fascinating! It looks dangerous! <laughs> Quasi, turn on the Octo Buggy camera! Hi. Octo buggy camera on. Jumping jellyfish. It's a lake of boiling hot sulfur. Incredibly rare. Quasi, can you get a sample? Hi, matey. Just be careful not to fall in. Yeah. Got it. <sighs> ah, the veggie pot. Ah, shiver me whiskers! There's mud flying everywhere! Mud volcanoes! Amazing! This is great, Quasi! Video of underwater mud volcanoes is really rare! Quasi, be careful. A big tremor is about to shake things up. Brace yourselves, everyone. You found the perfect new home for our hydrothermal vent, friends. I did? Yes. Hydrothermal vents form along cracks in the sea floor, just like this one. 
Good work, Quasi. Is this hot enough for you? Oh, yes. This is just the kind of home we've been looking for. This hydrothermal vent is just beginning to grow. And we'll grow with it. That's right. We'll get to watch you and this hydrothermal vent get a lot bigger. Let me take a picture of you in your new home. Say, seaweed. Seaweed! Dashy, Shellington, we'll be back down in a few weeks to pick you up. We'll miss you. Indeed yes, we will. Sir. We'll send video reports to the Octopod every day. We certainly have a lot to study. The lake of boiling sulphur, the mud volcanoes, the brand new hydrothermal vents. Aye, and who knows what else you'll find down here, mateys. <coughs> 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 Don't worry, Tunip. We'll take good care of the veggie bot. Remember, if you need us, we'll be here faster than you can say. Bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Dashy, Shellington, goodbye for now. Octonauts, let's head back up to the octopod. Bye-bye. Farewell. Bye. So long, mateys. Veggie Bot, could I have a kelp cake? Me too. Thanks, Veggie Bot. <laughs> yeah! The last one to the cave is a rotten fish egg. Hey, wait for us, Quasi. Slow down. You shiver me. Whiskers. Sorry, mateys. I, I just can't wait to go monster hunting in these old mysterious caves. Not monster hunting, Quasi. Fossil hunting. Fossils? Oh, who wants to look for a bunch of boring old rocks? <laughs> well, I do. Fossils aren't just rocks, Quasi. They're made from the remains of creatures that lived long ago. See? Still looks like a bunch of old rocks to me. Thanks, Tunip. If we find any big fossils, we'll need you to bring in the work lights, OK? <laughs> Octonauts, let's find some fossils. Yeah, I'm not finding anything. Fossil collecting takes patience. Just move any loose rock and check carefully. Peso, you found a fossil. I did? Yes, and it's a very impressive one too. Tunip, better bring in the lights. Well done, well done. Let's see. Eight fins, thick scales, a tail with three parts. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. This is the fossil of a coelacanth. What do you want? What? A coelacanth. They lived 65 million years ago, back with the dinosaurs. But there aren't any around today. This fossil is an amazing discovery. In that case, we should remove it carefully and take it back to the octopod to study. Yeah. Who turned out the lights? But how did that come unplugged? There's no one in these caves but us. Is there? <gasps> the fossil! What happened to it? It appears our fossil has disappeared! <gasps> A tail with three parts, just like the fossil! Huh? What is it, Quasi? I know what happened to the fossil! You do? It came to life and swam away! Um. Uh, Quasi, fossils used to be living things, but now they're just rocks. They can't come to life. They can if the fossil is really... A jumping jangle bones! J j j jumping jangle bones? According to pirate tales passed down by me granddad, Calico Jack. Jumping jangle 
Candle Bones, a spooky fish that look like rocks. But they come to life and try to scare you away when you get too close to the places where they like to hide. Places like these sea caves. Hmm. I've never heard of a jumping jangle bones, but one thing's certain. Something took that fossil, and we're going to find out what it was. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonauts, something or someone has taken the coelacanth fossil we found in this cave. A coelacanth fossil? A very rare discovery. I do hope you're able to find it. Captain, I've been watching the cave and nothing else has gone in or out since you've been in there. Then the fossil and whatever took it are still in here with us. Keep an eye on the cave and let us know if anything comes out. Thanks, Dashy. Right, let's split up and search the cave. Everyone, pick a tunnel. Aye, and watch out for the jumping jangle bones. Right, you bony beast. I know you're in here somewhere. Aha! I've got you now, you ghostly... Get back here! You can't outsmart me, you jumping... Peso, nothing to be afraid of. There's no such thing as jumping jangle bones. Hello? It's it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Wait! Come back! We just wanted to ask you about. Shellington, I think it's heading your way. Thanks, Peso. Wait, tune in! Whatever took the fossil is heading this way. Everyone, keep your eyes open for anything that looks Whoa! What was that? Barnacles to Octonauts. I think I hear something up ahead. I think I hear something too. So do I. Me too. It sounds like it's right around this corner. Oh! Oh! Octonauts! Oh, so it was just you I heard. Yeah, and that's just my tail you're squishing. Oops, sorry, Quasi. Looks like it is only us in here. Aye, it's only us and him! Wait! This way! I think I see something. It's... it's... What? What? The fossil! The jumping jangle bones must have turned back into stone before we could catch it! But Quasi, jumping jangle bones aren't real! Oh, how else do you explain how the fossil moved in here by itself? Hmm, good question. It's still a mystery. <gasps> I'm starting to think you guys just don't believe my monstery tales. What is it, Peso? The, the fossil! It's alive! The fossil's alive? <gasps> the fossil's alive! <gasps> oh, sorry everyone, my fault. I didn't mean to frighten no one. I wasn't frightened, just... Uh, Stretching my legs. Aren't you a jumping jangle bones? Uh, no, sorry. I'm just a coelacanth. But that's impossible. Coelacanths haven't been around since the dinosaurs. We are still around. We like to stay out of sight, though. Keep to ourselves. Fascinating. A real life coelacanth. I can't believe my eyes. But why did you move that fossil? Oh, right. Sorry. It's just. I'm kind of shy, and I'm not used to visitors in my cave. I just thought that if I hid the fossil, you'd lose interest and leave. Well, unless we can get past these rocks, we 
we're never going to be able to leave. Looks like we might need some backup. Barnacles to Dashy. Come in, Dashy. Ah, we must be too deep in the caves to make radio contact. No worries, mateys. We'll just dig ourselves out. We don't want any more rocks to fall. One, three... <laughs> Seen such a big fish move like that? <laughs> it helps to have eight fins and a big tail. But doesn't that hurt? Oh, not at all. My scales are super tough, like armor. Hmm. Do you think you could swat away these rocks while we dig ourselves out? Ah, uh, I think I could manage that. <laughs> <laughs> you thought was me. Right here. Catch! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help back there. And sorry again about disturbing your cave. <laughs> we didn't think anyone was home, let alone a real living coelacanth. Ah, don't worry about it. But next time, be careful how you call a fossil. <laughs> <laughs> Put it there, matey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Because I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah. Everything's loaded into the dump, Captain. Ready to go down to the bottom of the trench. Thanks, Quasi. Tweak, we're heading down to the Octolab with the new wires. Thanks, Cap. I really need him to get the electrical system working again down here. It must be tough to work in the dark. Well, the emergency lights are on. Oops. Sorry. Uh, let's just say it'll be nice to have the regular lights on again, Cap. We're on our way. Tunip, open the Octo Hatch. It looks so empty. I mean, but who knows what's lurking out there in the dark. Someone needs help. Quasi, Peso, let's investigate. Hmm, I don't see anything. No more strange flashing lights. Aye, but it's quiet. Too quiet. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! It's an ambush! Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi and Peso. Well, we're the Bomber Worms. Dino? How you doing? Rich? Lovely to meet you. Amarillo? Howdy! And the newest member of the... Hey, uh, uh, see, where's Jimmy Boy? Well, permission to speak, sir. Uh, Jimmy and I kind of crashed into each other. I said, you okay, kid? He said, don't worry about me. Save the captain. And that was the last I saw of him. He must have sunk to the bottom, sir. <sighs> sure gonna miss that kid. What in tarnation? Now look here, son. I've never left a worm behind, and I ain't gonna start now. Well, yes, I feel the same way about my team. Trouble is, we bomber worms spend our whole lives floating around here in the middle of the trench. And we never go all the way down to the seafloor. Got that right. Once Jimmy hits bottom, we might never find him. Who knows what's down there? Don't worry, Dino. We can help you find him. Octonauts to your stations. Come in, Octonauts. 
Octolab. Um, Octolab, do you read me? We're still running on emergency power, and it's messing with our radio. Go ahead, Cap. There's a hurt bomber worm named Jimmy, and he's sinking to the bottom of this trench. He could be near you. Oh, no. There's not much food down here, which means there are lots of hungry creatures who'd love to eat him for dinner. Then we'll have to find him before they do. Dashi, Shellington, search the area near the Octolab right away. We're on it, Captain. When we reach the bottom, Quasi, Peso and the Bomber Worms will look for Jimmy as well. Octonauts, Bomber Worms, let's do this. Oh, oh gee. Well, this looks yummy. Oh, oh no. Oh, I don't like bright lights. You're lucky I don't like to move around much either. Phew, that was close. Oh, ouch, can't swim. Now what do I do? Okay, start your search. I'll drop off Tweak's wires and join you as soon as I can. Yo, Jimmy! Coming. Just have to hope the kid can hear us and send up one of his flares. Assuming he's got any left. What do you mean? We bomber worms each have eight flares. Once he runs out, Jimmy won't be able to signal us or defend himself. Why can't he just grow more flares? It takes time to grow more. He don't have that kind of time. All right, boys, let's keep moving. Jimmy! Hey, Jimmy. We're on our way. Jimmy, where are you? Barnacles to Dashy and Shellington. Any sign of the missing bomber worm? Not yet, Captain, but we definitely found several creatures who might try to eat him. One anglerfish, a couple of dolper eels, some giant isopods, and a vampire squid. Keep searching, you two. We need to find Jimmy before any of those creatures do. Jimmy! Where are you, boy? Guys! Over here! Jimmy! Where are you, boy? Oh, golly, they're too far away. And I only have two flares left. <laughs> Don't think they saw that one. Better make this one count. Here goes. Jimmy! Look! Down there! A flare! Food? Food? Food! Oh, yeah, yeah. Food! Food? I'm gold! I'll be right with you! Come on! Guys, I can't believe you found me. Relax, son. You're doing fine. Ain't that right, Doc? I have to get him back to the Octolab. He needs special treatment, but then he'll be as good as new. You see, you're home free. Not quite, Cap. We got company. Huh. Let's move out. Not yet. I need to attach a splint to hold Jimmy's tail before I can move him. Quasi to Captain Barnacles. The good news is, we found Jimmy. The bad news is, we're surrounded by a pack of hungry creatures. Quasi, you and the bomber worms hold off those creatures. We're on our way. Tweak, prepare the Octomax suits. Come and get me, Gopher Eels! Ah! <laughs> 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 Alright, boys, dive bomb formation! Here we go! Circle maneuvers! Oh! Oh! How's it going, Peso? Think he's okay to move now. Jimmy out of here! 
So let's get Jimmy into the Octo Lab for his treatment. Well, Doc, how's my boy Jimmy? He's as good as you. I feel great, fellas. Oh, Jimmy! Thanks for all your help, Captain Barnacles. Glad to help a fellow captain. Well, then, looks like it's time for us to head back up where we belong. Plumber worms worm away! That was my lunch. Could someone help a blobfish out? Benji bot? Blobtastic. Hmm, I wonder what those little lights are up ahead. Shellington? It could be a group of tiny firefly squid, Captain. They glow in the dark. Let's dim the lights so we can get a better look at them. Already on it, Captain. I still can't tell what they are for certain. They don't seem to be moving. Then let's get a little closer. Closer. Ah! Jumping jellyfish! Dashie, put us in reverse and pull away. Uh, I'm trying, Captain, but... Something's got us! Oh. Oh. Switch to steering wheel mode, now! Uh. Must break free! Uh. Oh. oh dear! Ow. Ow. What? Shiver me whiskers! Uh. <laughs> Lappity flippers! It's no good, we're held tight. Dashy, lights, let's see what's got us. Aye, aye, Captain. <gasps> it's an enormous eye. Those itty bitty lights around my eye fooled you, didn't they? You didn't know they belonged to big old me. We mean you no harm. Please, let go of us at once. No. <laughs> I grab it, I keep it, you weird looking squid. Dashy, sound the up to alert. Oh. Octonauts, to the HQ! <laughs> Shellington, any idea what's grabbed us? Yes, it's a colossal uh, squid. It's like my cousin, the giant squid, only oh, bigger. It's uh, the biggest squid in the ocean. I wish it would stop shaking us. No more shaking. Phew, that was easy. Time for squeezing! Yeah, he'll crush the octopod! Not if we match him tentacle for tentacle. Tweet? I've got just the thing, Cap. Wearing this tentacle suit, Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own. Whoa! Now, I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. Excellent. Activate tentacle suit. <laughs> Twist to the side. <laughs> now down. <laughs> That's it. 
<laughs> You're swashbuckling like a proper pirate, Professor. Ugh, oh my, I need to break free before he gets his hooks in us. Hooks? What hooks? The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles. Yeah, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him. Almost there. Just a few more twists and turns, and we'll be... <gasps> Ink Cloud, a classic move from the squid playbook. Oh no, I can't see where his tentacles are. That's right, eat my ink. I'm taking you down, way down. Captain, I'm afraid he's hooked us. Understood. Quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws to pry those hooks off the ship. are no match for a swashbuckling pirate. For every hook we loosen, two more move into place. This will take all my polar bear strength. Got it. Oh. Captain, incoming tentacle. Thanks, Quasi. Anytime. Better keep moving. There's something heading straight for us. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid, then they might take a bite out of the octopod too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked onto us. You're right. I'm stuck. I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough. Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer. Oh, we're doomed! Don't worry. We'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all gups for launch. There you are, our colossal dinner. Octonauts, let's do this. Bob. Everyone, pull up! Up, 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 up. Now, back down! Oh, down! Please. They're still chasing us. Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air. So sooner or later, they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Can't keep going. Must go up through air. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, thank you. You guys saved me. Um, I'm sorry about almost crushing your ship and stuff. No harm done. Well, not much anyway. And now, let's help you unhook yourself from the octopod. No, no. You just take it easy. Really, I can do it. Watch out, matey. Your hooks are digging in deeper. Just a little tentacle trouble, that's all. Are you sure you don't need some help? Hold your seahorses. I can do it. I'll just brace myself. And give it a good strong yes! No! Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh no! Tunip and the Vegemals are in there! Ah! They're sinking fast! We've no time to lose. Everybody, dive! <laughs> Dark. I can't see the pod. I see it! I see it! You're pulling me poor. It's too dark down here to see anything. I have the biggest eyes in the ocean. And I can see just fine without light. Then let's use your squid vision. Where are they now? 
I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh-oh. Down. Go down. Everyone, die. Oh, no, not that way. The other way. Bring the cups around. Hurry. They're headed for some sharp rocks. You've got one free tentacle. Reach out with it now and grab them if you can. All right. I think I got it. Oh, I got it. Octonauts, pull up. Well done. Sometimes a spare tentacle really comes in handy. I'm great at grabbing, but I have a hard time letting go. I guess I could use some help after all. Operation Untangle Tentacles begins now. Now that all your tentacles are back where they belong, it's time to return one of ours. Tweak? Okay, big guy, bring up the pod. That's it, up a little more. Down a little, a little more. Now to your left. <laughs> uh, to your other left. Got it! Super, super! Good work, everyone. I think this calls for a tentacle bump. Yeah! Easy now. Watch the hooks, matey. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh, me, oh, my! Today's the big day! Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, Tweak has something very exciting planned for us today. That's right! It's time for the first ever inspection of the Gub X. Inspection? What kind of inspection? We're gonna make sure that every part of the Gup X is working the way it should. I've got a whole checklist of things to test out. Uh, uh, that doesn't sound very exciting. It is when you do it in the Midnight Zone, Quasi. The Midnight Zone? Now you're talking! The Midnight Zone is the deepest part of the ocean and can be very dangerous. If the Gup-X works down there, it'll work anywhere. Exactly. Now, why don't we get the show on the road? Octonauts, let's do this. Okay, first things first. Let's test out the suction tires. Everyone hold on. Isn't there a, a safer way to check the suction tires? Nope. Suction tires, check. We're now entering the midnight zone. Automatic headlights, check. Let's test the backup lights. Flip that switch, will you, Cap? Uh-huh. And back on again. Whoa! Uh. Oh. <laughs> wow! Shiver me oh, whiskers. Hydrothermal vents. Captain, it looks like you had a rough landing. Everything okay down there? We're fine, Dashy, but take a look at this. Gup cameras, check. Jumping jellyfish. The black smoke coming out of those hydrothermal vents is actually really hot water. Hot enough to melt the gup. Be careful, Captain. Thanks, Shellington. <sighs> that was a close one, Tweak. How's the Gup X doing? Uh, engines are still running. Computer is online. Super tough outer shell is handling the heat just fine. Good. Let's continue the inspection away from these hydrothermal vents. Okay, Cap, activate the glider. Glider, check. Ski's working too, Tweet! What? What's the matter?
matter, matey. You look like you've just seen a sea ghost. <sighs> Must be my imagination. Come on, Quasi. We'd better get back inside. Come on, Tweak. What was out there? Well, I know it sounds crazy, but I could have sworn I saw something white and furry climbing around on the gut. White? Furry? Oh, mateys, there's only one thing it could be. A sea yeti. Half fish, half shaggy white beast. The sea yeti lurks in the darkest depths of the midnight zone. But you'll always smell it before you see it. A sea yeti's foul breath smells like rotten eggs and is strong enough to knock out the mightiest pirate. Now that you mention it, it does smell sort of funny in here. Hmm. Note to self, replace the air freshener. Well, sea yeti or no sea yeti, we'd better finish the inspection. There's just one more thing on my checklist, Cap. The hot cocoa machine. <laughs> well? Oh, check. That does it. The Gupex is in total and complete 100% working order. Huh? Hmm. Sounds like we have a stowaway. Ooh, smells like it, too. <gasps> Yow! The Sea Yeti's got me! Oh! oh! I am not a Sea Yeti. I am a Yeti Crab. And my name is Klaus. <laughs> a Yeti Crab? Whatever you are, matey, you don't smell too good. Sort of like rotten eggs. <gasps> Yeah, that is a smell from the hydrothermal vents where I live. <laughs> oh, smells delicious. <laughs> Phew, you live near the hydrothermal vents. Oh, aren't they very hot and dangerous? Not for a Yeti crab. Uh, I use the hairs on my arms to catch tiny bits of food coming out of the vents. <laughs> but mm, there is nothing to eat inside this rock, and I am also hungry. This isn't a rock. It's our ship. Your ship? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> we Yeti crabs are blind. <laughs> I cannot see a thing. In that case, Klaus, you'd better let us take you back home. Oh, thank you. That would be wonderful. It is almost my dinner time. <laughs> All right, Octonauts. Back to the hydrothermal vents. <laughs> Tweak, the brakes are out. I can't stop the ship. Oh, no. Our little friend here must have done some damage when he was looking for food. Uh, I might have snipped a few things in there. Captain, if we don't stop the gub, we're going to crash into the hydrothermal vents. <laughs> There's no room to turn the gub around. Cap, it looks like the problem is a disconnected wire behind the main control panel. Can you reconnect it, Tweak? Sure thing, Cap. There's just one small problem. The main control panel can only be reached from the outside. Good. Now hurry. Bingo! Now I just need to reconnect the red wires. Can't quite reach. Any luck, Tweak? I'm trying, Cap, but I just can't reach the wires. Oh, oh, it's hopeless. My home will be destroyed for sure. I will never eat again. <laughs> Don't worry, Klaus. We'll think of something, won't we? Klaus, there's only one person the right size for the job. <laughs> Me, of course. <laughs> and I even know a shortcut. <laughs> Yo Klaus! Oh, I have come to help save my home, yeah? Oh, and your ship. Oh. <laughs> All right. All you have to do is reconnect the red wires. Oh, with my long arms and crabby claws, that's 
That should be easy. <laughs> Oh, careful! The red wire, not the blue one! Oops, I'm sorry! I cannot see you, remember? <laughs> right! Captain, look! Tweak, you've got to hurry up! Okay, left a bit. No, right a bit. Captain, we're going to crash in five... No, don't cut the wire! Four! Whoops! Three! Come on, mateys! Two! Ta-da! Cap, the brakes are back! Oh. Well done, Captain! Oh, me oh my! Yeah! We did it! Ah. Way to go, little fella! Oh! Smells like home! And just in time for dinner! <laughs> so tasty, yeah? Thank you for all the ride! And thank you for all your help, Klaus. Goodbye. And goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Good work today, Octonauts. The Yeti Crab is back home, the hydrothermal vents are safe, and the Gubex is in ship shape. There's just one thing left. Oh, what's that, matey? Is there anything we can do about this smell? Hey, so? Uh. Quasi? Hold still, Puffy. Ow! Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike. But it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. You, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Ooh! Yeah! <laughs> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practicing me sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, a bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. <laughs> hey, my spike is starting to feel bitter. Thanks, Peso. Off you go then, Puffy. Bye-bye. <laughs> there he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just a um, whale shark. Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours. <laughs> No. Peso, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. <laughs> Rope. Check. Fish pack. Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord, and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water, and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi, you swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. And we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. 
and he's going after those tiny krill. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi, yow! Peso, you drive. I'm coming oh. for you, Puffy! Yeah! Oh. Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Cap. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. Follow that whale shark, Peso! Activate Turbo Booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cosy. You got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's gonna do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search the gills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery tongue and go! <laughs> This is fun. Now what? Now it's story time. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taking forever. It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Ka -kaw! Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah! You can do it, Peso. <gasps> Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to... Whoa, whoa! Captain, use your polar bear strength. Uh, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Whoa! I'm going up the puppy. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. Yeah. Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Oh. Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! Uh. 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 Must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy! We have to get him back into water fast. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. <laughs> You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha. Sorry, 
we can't stay for lunch. <sighs> Where'd they go? Yeah. Follow the krill where you will. You'll never shake me. to watch out for really big fish. Or keep an eye and an eye out for them. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, Dashy. Is the octopod in position? We're at the surface, Captain. The show will be starting any minute. We'll be right there, just as soon as we get Peso's patient back home. Allow me. Your patient is heavier than a pile of cannonballs. Just a little polar bear strength. Thanks, Captain. Whoa, that guy's pretty strong. You know it. Hi, there's no one in the seven seas stronger than Captain Barnacles. Why, I've seen him pry open the lid of a rusty treasure chest, lift up giant rocks, twist the lid off a jar of jam that nobody else could open. What was that? Hello, Hattie here. Oh, this looks interesting. Flappity flippers. She took a bite right out of that rock. Now that is strong. You know it. Yes, I just love to bite rocks or, or coral or anything, really. I'm a humphead parrotfish and I have special teeth that... Oh, that looks interesting. <gasps> Those are some teeth. You know it. Look, is that sand? Yes, yes. Rocks go in, sand comes out. Oh, now this looks interesting. Careful, Hattie. You just took a bite out of our gup. Oopsie. Awfully sorry. When I get a chance to chomp, I just can't resist it. It's how we humphead parrotfish eat. Captain, you better get up here fast. It's about to begin. OK, Dashy, we're on our way. Bye, Hattie. What do you think they were rushing off for? I don't know, but there might be something new to chop. Wait for me! Captain, you're just in time. The meteor shower is just starting. There's one. Look. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. <gasps> oh, wow. Rusta Muta. That's a meteor tunic. A meteor is a piece of rock flying through space. When lots of them are in the sky at once, like tonight, it's called a meteor shower. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, that one looks like it might be heading this way. Hmm. Occasionally, a meteor will fall to the Earth. Some, well, most in fact, land right in the ocean. Hmm. Then we'd better move the octopod just to be on the safe side. Dashy. Already on it, Captain. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. We're coming in. You got it, Cap. Oh, 
This looks interesting. Whoa! Come in, Dashi. What's going on in there? Oh, we're falling fast, Captain. Something's wrong with the Octopod's engines. They've completely shut down. Then we'll have to prepare for a crash landing. Octonauts, hold on. Captain, safe and sound. Captain, you're not going to believe this. What is it, Dashy? It's the meteor tracker, Captain. The meteor Quasi saw is about to crash into the ocean, and it's heading straight for us. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts. There's a meteor heading our way, and the octopod is stuck. I'll get to work on the engine, Cap. Dashi, how much time do we have? Not long, Captain. In just a few minutes, the meteor will hit the ocean, and then the octopod. <laughs> then we'll have to find some way to move the octopod. I think I found the problem, Cap. Looks like something took a chunk right out of the engine. But don't worry, I'll have it fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunch. Huh? Tweak, what was that noise? I don't know. But now there's another missing chunk. <coughs> hmm. Actually, Cap, this could take me a while. If we can't fix the engine and move the octopod in time, then we need to find a way to stop the meteor. Shellington, Inkling, what else do we know about meteors? Well, as you can see, they look like big black rocks. Yes, but they're actually part metal. Metal? That's right. In fact, they can even be magnetic. Hmm, magnetic. <gasps> that gives me an idea. Quasi, peso, to the guts. <laughs> Octonauts, these magnets should stick to the meteor and slow it down, but it's moving fast. We have to shoot our magnets and hit the meteor at the exact same time. Quasi, Peso, take your positions. It's coming in fast, mateys. Get ready. Ooh. Steady. Steady. Dashi, I'm attached to the meteor, but I can't stop it. Prepare to evacuate the octopod. Attention, Octonauts. Report to the launch bay. We need to leave the octopod immediately. Huh? Where's all this sand coming from? So you're what's been taking chunks out of our engine. Whoops! <laughs> I'm sorry. There are just so many interesting things to munch around here. Well, you better clear out. A big rock from outer space is about to hit the octopod. A rock from outer space? That sounds delicious. Hold on. If you can chomp through this engine, I reckon you can chomp through that meteor. Chomping rocks is my speciality. And I've never tasted one from outer space before. Um, do you have any friends around here? <laughs> Second time lucky, Captain. Ready, Peso? I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> well done, you two. But it's still not enough. Don't worry, Cap. Help is on the way. Action! 
party. All right, boys. Who's hungry? It's working. But we've got to give the parrotfish more time. Pull back on your reverse thrusters. Give it everything you've got. <laughs> Look! Here they come! They're moving fast. Captain, time until impact is five. I'm losing contact with the meteor. <laughs> Today, Octonauts, and thanks for your help, Hattie. Oh, it was no trouble at all. After all that meteor chomping, I'd better check on your teeth. Open your mouth and say, ah, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me again, Shellington. What do you call those creatures you're looking for? Huh? Oh. Renipedes, Captain. They're very unusual creatures, and this area is crawling with them. Well, before you head out, let me just show you how to drive the Gup D one more time. Oh, I'll be fine, Captain. I've seen the Gup D in action. Yes, but Shellington, you've never driven her yourself. But I know how it starts. You just press this. <gasps> no, not yet. You have to close the windscreen first. OK, now you can start the engine. Well done. Now be careful. Steady as she goes. Don't worry, Captain. I know what I'm doing. Oh! Oh, whoops. Oh. Remember, take it easy. Very easy. Oh. Oh, whoops! Oh, hey! Tweak, we'd better keep an eye on the Gup D, just in case Shellington gets into trouble. Agreed, Cap. I'll check the Gup Finder. So far, so good. <sighs> Let's see, Renipedes. Um, well, they swim on their backs. Lots of legs, long antennae, and live in dark sea caves. Ooh, dark sea caves. Oh, now where can I find a dark sea cave? Oh! 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 Oops! Oh! Oops! Oh! Oh! Jumping! Jellyfish! A dark sea cave! I must investigate. <gasps> Cap! Shellington has crashed! Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, Shellington has crashed the Gup D. If anything's happened to him, I'm ready. The Gup C is ready too, Cap. Peso, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the Octa hatch. You got it, Cap. Good luck. Amazing! Look at those stalactites and these stalagmites. Huh? Oh! You're not a remipede. You're a worm. <laughs> I must investigate further. 
At last! There's the cup deep! What's left of it? But where's Shellington? Hmm? A sea cave! Do you think he could be in there? Let's find out. Ooh. This cave just goes on and on. What was that? Huh? I must be seeing things. Hmm. Now, which way to go? Huh? Sounds like there's something down there. Magnifying glass. Oh no, we've got to find him. Caves are dangerous places, like mazes. Easy to get into, very difficult to find a way out. We'll need to go in with a guide rope so we can find our way back. Aye, Captain. Let's use this. Good thinking. Octonauts, let's do this. Ready. Yeah! What was that? Hello? Is someone there? Don't be frightened. My name's Shellington. I'm an octonaut. Hello? Hello? Ah! What are you doing here? This isn't your cave. I'm a scientist. I was exploring. Oh! You're a remipede. You bet I am. And so are they. <gasps> oh, my. Gentlemen, let's give him the smell test. Assume circle formation. One, two, three, and smell. You're not from around here, are you? Oh no! Which way now? Captain, I say we settle this the pirate way. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a pirate by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That's the one, then. is like a maze. I'm glad we have this guide rope so we can find our way back out, Captain. Yes, especially since we've gone so deep inside. Aye, but where's Shellington? You'd think we'd have found him by now, mateys. That doesn't sound good. The rope! Yow! <laughs> Were you following me the whole time? You bet I was. We don't get a lot of visitors in our cave, so we'd like to know what you're doing here. Well, as I said, I'm just exploring. Now that you've come this far, how are you planning on finding your way out? Well, oh, uh, I, I hadn't thought about that. Um, I might need a little help from you, actually. What makes you think I could help? Well, you're a renipede. You live your whole life finding your way around dark sea caves. Hmm, you got that right. And you have an excellent sense of smell. Right again. You do know a thing or two about remipedes. Hold on. I smell something else. I smell more visitors. Three of them. <gasps> We'll have to find Shellington soon, or these torches will run out. But how are we going to get out? We'll have to retrace our steps. This way. What's that? Octonauts! Shellington! Are you okay? I'm fine. I've discovered a very large group of remipedes. Um. Hello there. Hello. So, I bet you're lost too, just like your friends here. 
I'm afraid so. We keep taking the wrong turn. Now we'll never find our way out. Why not? Because it's so dark. That makes no difference to me. I am blind. Blind? But how do you find your way around? The same as any remipede. We use our other senses. Smelling, touching, listening. Of course. And if the remipedes lead the way... We can listen and follow their voices. And we'll find our way out. <laughs> you sure will. Octonauts, follow those remipedes. Come on, this way. Thank you, Remipedes. No problem. I'd be happy to show you around this cave again any time. Okay, let's head for home. Okay, Captain. I'll follow you in the gu... Oh, what happened to the gup D? I, I uh, think you may have bumped into a few things on the way here, Shellington. I think it's better if I drive home. I'm sure I could do better this time, Captain. It's just there's a couple of tricky turns along here. I wonder if Quasi would let me drive the gut B. Uh, doubt it somehow. Oh, I'm much better now, Captain. Wonderful. Another shell for our research, Captain. Let's measure it. Here's the biggest one yet, Shellington. Look, there's a little sea star stuck to this one. Oh, yeah! Don't be frightened, little sea star. We're the Octonauts. Who are you? My name is Twinkle. How interesting. You don't look like the other sea stars in this rock pool. Your arms are longer and you're a different colour. Well, actually, I don't live here. I kind of I sort of got lost. Oh. Then let's help you get found. To the Octopod. As I was crawling, and then a big underwater wave picked me up, and it dropped me on that beach. Maybe if we knew what kind of sea star you are, we could work out where you come from. The problem is, there are nearly 2,000 kinds of sea star, and they live in every part of the ocean, from the top to the very bottom. So how will we find her home? We'll have to look in a lot of places, Peso, and some of them could be dangerous, me hearties. Very dangerous. I miss my family, and they must be so worried about me. I want to go home. On my honour as an Octonaut, I promise we'll get you back home. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yeah. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to search the ocean top to bottom for Twinkle's home. Quasi, Peso, into the guppe. Aye, 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 Captain. Captain. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Might as well start at the top. Oh, there's all kinds of fish up here. That's because we're in the sunlight zone. The ocean is like a cake with three layers. Sunlight zone, twilight zone, midnight zone. The sunlight zone is the top layer. Aye, it's where most sea creatures live. This doesn't look like home, and I don't see any other sea stars. Hmm, there might be some on that coral reef. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Ahoy, there be one. Wow. That's a lot of arms. Um, excuse me. Have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle here? Well, that depends. Which one of you is Twinkle? Now, if it's you... No, no. I'm a penguin. Well, that's a relief, because you'd make one silly-looking sea star. Me, me, I'm the sea star. Of course you are. Who said you weren't? Now, I'm a sunflower star myself, and... It... I'm sorry, what was the question again? 
Ah, have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle? Well, why didn't you say so? Now, let's see. Yes, I'm sure I've seen some stars that look like her. If only I could remember where. Hmm, maybe it was over there. Or, or was it there? Oh, oh, wait, wait, I know. It was... Ah! A porcupine puffer. Puffers eat sea stars. Peso, quick, hide Twinkle. <gasps> Nothing here but my hat. Phew. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, but now I really want to go home. Time to search in deeper water. Gosh, it's getting dark out there. That's because we're getting further from the sunlight down into the twilight zone. It's too dark for plants to grow, but there are still plenty of animals. Including sea stars. A vast, mateys. There's a mess of them right there. Excuse me. I see you're all sea stars. Nah, we're called brittle stars. What's it to you? We're just trying to help our friend Twinkle here find her way home. But we don't know where that is, matey. Have you seen any sea stars who look like her? Mm, I don't know. She looks a little like my cousin, Shirley. No way. She's got much shorter arms. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Sorry, sweetheart. I don't think you're from round here. <sighs> <sighs> Maybe I'll never find my way home. Don't give up, Twinkle. I've got a feeling we're getting really close to something. This way. <laughs> huh? Quick, in there. <laughs> Sorry, I was only looking. Phew. All right, everyone, he's gone. Let's... Oh, look at Twinkle. Wh what? Aye, she's glowing. Doesn't everybody glow in the dark? <laughs> no, but most sea creatures who glow in the dark live in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. The Midnight Zone. It's safe. Back to the cup, Octonauts. Next stop, the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone is completely dark. Many of the creatures who live here make their own light, just like Twinkle. Hey, this is starting to look familiar. Let me see. No, <laughs> Twinkle, don't touch that. Yeah. Hold on, Octonauts. <gasps> this could get bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't supposed to happen, right? There you go. Thank you. Where are we, Captain? Looks like we've landed at the bottom of a very deep hole in the midnight zone. Wow, it's really dark outside. <gasps> the lights are broken. And inside, too. <sighs> the engine's working, but we're not moving. The gut must be wedged in. Well then, we'll have to go out and unwedge it. Octonauts, let's put on our special deep sea suits. But it's blacker than a pirate's teeth out there. Will we have enough light to see what we're doing? Hmm. I can help with that. A little more towards this side, please, Twinkle. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, ready, Octonauts? Now, push! <laughs> Hey! Yeah! Well done, me hearties! The gup is free. 
But this hole is full of twists and turns. Aye, we'll need more than the light from one little sea star to get out of here and find Twinkle's family. Flappity blippers. Well, I'll be. They look like stars. They are sea stars. Twinkle, is that you? Daddy! Mummy! Granddad! Where have you been? We were so worried. Thank goodness you're home. Everyone, these are the Octonauts. They helped me find my way home. That's right. We searched the whole ocean from top to bottom. Now, if only we could find our way home. Maybe our new friends can help us. Daddy, Mummy, we need to get everybody together. The whole family and all our friends. Right you are, Twinkle. Ready for liftoff, Octonauts? Aye, 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 Captain. Then let's go. We're heading home. Reporting for my training exercise, Captain. Very good, Peso. The guppy is ready, Cap. Thanks, Tweak. Now, let's go over the practice plan one more time. First, I pilot the guppy through the twilight zone all the way down into the midnight zone. Aye. The darkest place on Earth. A place so deep that the sun can't shine there. I know. It's always nighttime in the midnight zone. But you can hit that button to turn on the super bright lights. Right. Then, after I get to the midnight zone, I land on the seabed and come right back up. As fast as I can. You get to go to the midnight zone by yourself. Captain, I volunteer to go on this training exercise with him. Peso has to do this alone, Quasi. I have to learn to make the trip to the midnight zone by myself so that I can help the animals who live there. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Well, watch out for the vampire squid while you're down there. The vampire squid? What's that? A creature of the Midnight Zone, that's for sure. He wears a big cape covered in sharp spikes. His eyes glow in the dark. He squirts a horrible slime. And he lives in a haunted castle in the deepest, darkest part of the Midnight Zone. Don't worry, Peso. There are a lot of strange creatures down there, but no haunted castles. Now, let's begin. Ready, Captain. Tweak, open the Octo hatch. Please. You got it, Peso. Peso here. You're doing great. Just keep those flippers steady on the helm. Flippers steady, Captain. It's really dark now, and I'm not even close to the bottom. Well, that's better. <gasps> What's that sound? All I have to do is touch down at the bottom and come back up as fast as I can. Sound again. I I made it by myself. All alone. All right, time to go. Oh, wow, it hurts. It hurts? Are, are you hurt? <laughs> yes. And nobody cares. Oh! I care. Hold on. Peso to Octopod. Peso to Octopod. I found a creature in the Midnight Zone who needs help. 
Repeat, I found creature. Midnight Joe, help. Help? Octopod to peso. Come in, peso. Sorry, Captain. Sometimes the radio doesn't work very well way down in the midnight zone. Hmm. Keep trying, Dashy. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. What seems to be the problem? Um, excuse me. Oh. Ah! Wait, don't be afraid. I'm here to help. Captain, I've lost contact with Peso. He could need our help. Wazi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost contact with Peso in the Midnight Zone. Captain, I'm ready to go after him. Right. The Duck B is ready to go. Please, I can help you feel better. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick. Really? Yes. Oh my, your eyes glow in the dark. Those aren't my eyes. Those are just a couple of lights I have on the top of my head. I can turn them off when I want to. Oh. <gasps> so those are your eyes. Well, it helps to have big eyes when you need to see in the dark. Oh, 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 Where does it hurt? Oh, it's one of my spikes. Uh, ow, ow. Spikes? I don't see any spikes. Just like the vampire squid. It feels like it's near the top. See it? I see it. It looks like it's poking you. Ow! So, do you think you can help me? Yes. I have just the thing to make it as good as new. What are you going to do with those things? They're just tweezers. I'll use them to straighten out the spike. Oh no, it'll hurt even more. I promise I'll be very gentle. <laughs> promise? Promise. Huh? Hey, so! <laughs> Are you all right? Ah, I'm fine. Never better. Are you all right? I think I was just slimed by the... the vampire squid. The vampire squid? A fast... a trail of slime. Stand back. I'll go after him. Wait. He's hurt. He needs our help. Quasi? Quasi? Are you okay? Quasi, can you hear me? There's no answer, Tweak. I need to go after them. I'll get the Gup D ready, Cap. What's that? That's the vampire squid. Yow! Stay back. He's hurt. He's easily frightened, so please, follow me and stay quiet and calm. All right, matey. But I'm ready to pounce if I have to. Don't be afraid. No surprises this time. <laughs> you promise? Promise. Peso! Quasi! <laughs> Are you two all right? We've been slimed by a vampire squid. I've got to help him. He's hurt. Captain, the vampire squid is easily scared. It'll be much better if I go after him by myself. All right. Peso, we're here if you need us. <laughs> Please, don't swim away. It's just me, Peso. I'm, I'm too tired to move. And my spike hurts more than ever. You've had quite a scare. Hmm. 
Oh, 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 oh. My spike. It, it feels better. Good as new. You fixed it. You're amazing. <laughs> Just doing my job. Here's a sticker for being such a brave patient. Would you like to meet my friends now? I don't know. They're not as scary as they seem. I promise. Come on. Okay. Captain Barnacles, Quasi, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, the Vampire Squid. Where's your cape covered in spikes? You mean this? Oh, yeah, that. This is not a cape. It's a webbing between my tentacles and it helps me hide when I'm scared. <gasps> and when I'm really scared... <laughs> oh, we know. You, you slime. slime. Oops, uh, sorry, Octonauts. I got a little carried away. Anyway, thank you for fixing my spy. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Farewell. That was a lot more than a training exercise today, Peso. Good work. Just doing my job, Captain. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick. Even if it does mean getting slimed. <laughs> <laughs> <Peso>. <laughs> about there's something out there something big really big I saw it it's huge it's white and it made a noise like Whoa. Captain look at this I managed to snap a picture of whatever's out there that's it that's what I saw what on earth could it be it's as big as a whale but whales are usually dark grayish Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak. If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Oh, bye. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. Scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast, strange heat patterns are coming from that pink colored reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. Then we better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. Oh. 
Whoa! There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> This is no reef. The ghost whale. Ah, I knew it was some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're gonna need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus. Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino? It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. To hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh! Looks like we've got company. A school of squid! We'll go around them! At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them! What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. 
driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more. And finished. Huh, a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. Screwdriver! Carrot! Thanks, Vegemals! Is the guppy ready to go, Tweak? It sure is, Cap! Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, today our mission is to travel to the bottom of the sea and add a new page to Shellington's book. This is an unfinished guide to the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone? It sounds dark and scary. It is, me hearty. The Midnight Zone is a place so deep that the sun never shines there. In this book, I describe many amazing creatures from the Midnight Zone. A limpet, a tube worm, a vent fish. At the end, however, there are these empty pages. It's our job to fill these empty pages with a creature no one's ever seen before. And since it's so dark down there, I added these extra lights to the Gup A to help you see. When the lights on the Gup flash, you're running out of power, and you need to come back up right away. Shellington, Peso, and Quasi, put on your deep sea suits. Ready? Ready, Ready Captain. Captain. Open the Octo Hatch, Tweak. Right away, Captain. It's not dark yet. That's because we're still up in the sunlight zone. Are we there yet? It's rather dark. No, we're now entering the twilight zone. And the midnight zone is even deeper and darker. Even deeper and darker. Octonauts, we have entered the Midnight Zone. It's really dark down here. Let's turn on the special deep sea lights. It's awfully quiet down here. Captain, what's that sound? That's just our propeller, Peso. It always makes that sound. What about that? There's something very hot up ahead. Shiver me whiskers. Is that smoke? <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. We found some hydrothermal vents. 
What's a hydrothermal vent? It's like an underwater volcano. That's very hot water pouring out of the top. Helmets, everybody. This is the perfect place to find a creature that's never been seen before. Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Ready. Oh, Captain! Have you found something, Shellington? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> I found a limpet, but that's nothing new. And these are tube worms. They only live in the midnight zone. They're fascinating, but they're not new. Huh? Over here! Yow! It looks big. It's... it's... It's only rocks. Sorry, Shellington. Huh? That's a vent fish. It's not a new creature either, I'm afraid. Let's keep looking, Octonaut. Shellington, what are these holes? Interesting. I found a rock before with holes exactly like this. But I've never discovered what made the holes. Let's dig up a rock sample. I'll get the rock cutter. Allow me. Uh, thanks. I'll take it from here. Oh no, I broke the rock sample. Oh! No problem, I can get a good look inside it now. Maybe something's living in here. Hmm, I don't see anything. Where's the other piece? Got it! Octonaut, the power on the gap A is getting low. We should go. But I still haven't found a new creature. We'll have to come back another time, Shellington. Everyone to the gup. <sighs> so, did you find a creature nobody's ever seen before? Ah, uh, no. I didn't find anything new to put on my empty pages. I wish we'd found something big and scary, like a giant fishopotamus. Well, we did find this interesting rock with holes in it. <sighs> There's something alive in here. Oh! Oh! Wait! 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 Where am I? You're on the octopod. <gasps> My house. It's broken. No worries, little guy. We can put your house back together faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Okay, but hurry. I'm freezing. And this light hurts my eyes. You live in the midnight zone where it's always dark and the hydrothermal vents are very hot. The octopod must seem very strange to you. Oh, I want to go home. Tweak will fix your house and then we'll take you home to the midnight zone as fast as we can. In the meantime, we'll do our best to make you more comfortable. How's that? Warm enough? Dark enough? Better. For now. Thanks. First, we have to work out how the tunnels connect to each other. Give this a try. <laughs> Wrong. Okay, let me try again. Oh, wrong. Hold on. Yeah. That ought to do it. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. The holes don't line up. I keep bumping my head. Don't worry. We won't give up until we've worked it out. <gasps> you know, we've been looking at this problem from the outside. But we need to take a look from the inside. I bet Dashie can help us. 
With this tiny video camera, we'll be able to see your tunnels from the inside. I call it the worm cam. Ready? Ready! Dead end. The holes are still not lining up. Another dead end. Perfect! Fantastic! I'll use some sticky limpet glue to hold it together. Good as new. I need a picture. Say seaweed. Seaweed. Now we'll take you back home, where it's nice and dark. I can't wait. Octonauts, come down and visit any time. Peso? We have a new friend in the Midnight Zone. It may be dark down here, but it's not scary anymore, Captain. And you have your own page in my book now. Sweet. Okay, Jashi. Ready to test the Octomax suit? Ready. Let's start with the robotic arms. Robotic arms, check. Now the jackhammer. Jackhammer, check. All right, now let's test those cameras. Front view, check. Side view, check. Oh, hi, Quasi, Professor. Whoa, how'd you see us? With my rear view camera, check. What in the seven seas is this thing? A diving suit or a gup? Both. It's as strong as a gup, but small enough to get into tight spaces where the gups can't go. We call it the, the Octomax suit. The Octomax suit, eh? He looks perfect for wrestling sea monsters. When can I try it out? Not now, Quasi. We have a mission of our own, remember? Oh, right. Planting. Coral. Not just any coral. Deep sea coral. And it can only be planted in the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone? Why didn't you say so? Let's go! Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Quasi. A fast, Professor. Over there. Uh, perfect, Quasi. Psst. Over there. It's our lucky day. Food. Food? What kind of food? How much? What's it look like? I can't see it very well. Oh, of course you can't. We're gulper eels, remember? We can't see anything very well. I know. I'm over here, by the way. Oh, oh kind of looks like sea snakes. Uh, they're wriggling all over the place. Now let's open our jaws and... <gasps> You get anything? No. You? Nothing. And those aren't sea snakes. Then what were those wiggly things? Tentacles. Octopus tentacles. O -o Octopus, my all-time favorite. Ooh, we can't let him get away. Uh, hey, watch where you're going. Sorry. Now come on. The deep sea coral should feel right at home here. Looky, look. Octopus tentacles straight ahead. Oh, yes, I can almost taste them. <laughs> Professor, look out! <laughs> We've been inked! Oh, retreat! Retreat! No! Yeah! That was some fast squirting, Professor. What were those slithery beasts? Oh, just some gulper eels out looking for a meal. Nothing to worry about. Those little fellas were out to eat you! Gulper eels can open their mouths wide enough to swallow creatures much bigger than they are. Uh, now, where were we? Ah, hmm. 
according to barnacles. Go ahead, Professor. We planted all the coral. And we're coming home. Good work. We'll see you soon. I think, um, I may need a little help getting my tentacles untangled. I'll get you out, Professor. Those rocks are no match for me. I'm almost <laughs> got it. It's not safe down here, Quasi. Get out while you still can. A pirate never leaves his crew behind. Yow! Or his tail. Captain, I'm picking up some big tremors coming from the midnight zone. The sea floor's breaking up. Come in, Captain! Tight! Giant bombers! We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, Professor Inkley and Quasi are trapped in the Midnight Zone. They're wedged in under some boulders. We have to get them out right away. Tight space, heavy lifting. Sounds like a job for... The Octomax suit. Just what I was thinking. The air tank is only good for a short mission. Then we'll have to work fast. Tweak, Dashy, Peso, let's go. <laughs> the Gup E. Hmm. They must be down there. It's up to you now, Dashy. We'll monitor your air tank from here, but you'll have to work fast. I'm on it, Captain. Any sign of Professor Inkling and Quasi? Not yet, Captain, but it's dark down here. Activating searchlight. Bingo! I see them. I'm going in, Captain. We read you, Dashy. Keep us posted. Looks like you two are in a tight spot. Dashy! Don't worry. I'll have you both out of there in no time. <sighs> oh, it's too heavy. Now what? Don't worry, Quasi. This suit has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Activating Jackhammer. One tentacle free, two to go. Well done, Dashy. Now, move the jackhammer to your right and down. I'm still hungry for octopus. Let's swim back slowly. And then we'll open our jaws and... Go! Captain, we've got visitors. Dashy, gulper eels coming up fast. From behind. And they look hungry. Dashy, activate the snack shooter. Great idea, Tweak. Snack time. Food. That should hold him. The second tentacle's out. Just one to go. Mm. Hurry, Dashy. You don't have much air left. Almost there. But this rock's really wedged in. Oh, how about a little octopus ink? That might help me slide it out. Good idea, Professor. I'll take a blast of that too, Professor. I'll lift while you two try to wriggle free. Yeah! Incoming! Oh, my! Keep pulling! I'll take care of the boulders. Ah, flippers. Grab on, Quasi. We did it, Captain. They're both free. Well done. And just in time, Dashy's almost out of air. Dashy. Get back to the gub now. Aye, aye, Captain. Wait! My friend, he's trapped. Oh. <laughs> we 
we can't leave him there. Even if he did try to eat you. Don't worry. We'll help you out. Stand clear. Hurry, Jazzy. Oh, ah, I'm free. Oh, thank you. No problem. Now, let's get out of here. Ooh, you better get out of here, too. Oh, girl. Hurry, Jashi. <sighs> that air feels good. Good work, Dashi. I'll have you good as new in no time. Thank you, Peso. It looks like the tremors didn't hurt the coral, Professor. Excellent. Let's head back to the octopod. I could certainly use a cup of tea and some fish biscuits. After all that excitement, <laughs> I'm as hungry as a gulper eel. Go! <laughs> <laughs> you do that every time. I know, I'm awfully sorry. All done. Fit as a fiddle fish. Here's your last patient, Peso. And how are you today? Crabby. Because, well, I'm a crab and my shell hurts. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. Let's take a look. Now, don't be nervous. This X-ray viewer just lets me see inside your shell. Aha! Uh -huh. You've got a small stone in there, Captain. May I? Oh, that's better. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. What's that? <laughs> A young sperm whale, and he looks like he needs help. Hello, are you all right? My name is... Oh, no, no, don't hurt me. Don't be scared. I'm here to help. Oh, get, get, get away! But I... Show your teeth and do your worst. We're not afraid of a little whale like you. Yeah. Yeah. Sperm whales, we are not here to fight. We are the Octonauts. <laughs> Captain, it looks like we're outnumbered. Maybe not. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts were surrounded by a pod of angry sperm whales. We've got to work out why and fast. Shellington, take a look. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. They're humongous beasts with humongous teeth. Sperm whales don't bite or use their teeth to eat. They sometimes show them to protect their young, but only when they think they're in danger. Oh, 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 Orker! Orker! Captain, young sperm whales are afraid of orcas. I don't see any orca. Hmm. Neither do I. But I wonder if. Peso? Me? <laughs> Him? Dashy, send me a picture of a... Orca? Already on it, Captain. Sperm whales, there's been a misunderstanding. Peso is not an orca. He's a penguin. You thought he was an orca? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is black and white like an orca. But he's tiny. We never had a chance for a proper hello. We are the Octonauts. I hope you're not still scared. Probably. Scaredy Simon is scared of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Will you dive down with us this time, Simon? Oh, no. Oh. oh. They're right. I'm scared of everything. Especially diving. What's so important about diving? All sperm whales dive deep down in the ocean to find food. Except him. <laughs> oh, I'll never learn to dive. I keep thinking, I can do it. But I can't. It's too deep. 
Aye, oh, it's deep. And dark. And scary. But that's what makes it an adventure, me hottie. Ooh. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> You know, I happen to know someone who's a champion diver. You do? Who? Peso. Penguins have to learn to dive too. But when I was little, I was scared to dive, just like you. Oh, you really think you could teach me? I don't see why not, unless you still think I'm an orca. <laughs> no. This shouldn't take long, Captain. <laughs> See? It's not so bad. Just a little deeper and we'll find the rest of your pod. I can do it. I can do it. I oh, can't do it! <laughs> Let's try it backwards. It's not so scary this way, is it? I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> This may take a little longer than I thought. Hmm. Quasi and I'll head back to the octopod. Radio us when you need a lift home. Good luck, matey. Simon, I've just remembered something. When I was learning to dive, there was a little trick that helped me not be afraid. Oh, what was it? Right before the dive, I would take a deep breath and then close my eyes tight. <sighs> <laughs> I can do it! I... Ah! Ah! Um, excuse me, Mr. Clam. Would you mind opening your mouth? I can do it! I can do it! Oh! Who am I fooling? A giant clam fell to the bottom of the sea. <gasps> this way. Simon, will you dive down to help us? I... I'm sorry. I want to help Peso, but I just can't do it. It's all right. We'll find him. Peso's medical bag. Look, the clam. Uh, Quasi, I think you mean clams. Shiver me whiskers. We'll have to search shell by shell. Peso? 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 Ah! Whoa! Try the X-ray viewer. Clam, clam, another clam. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. This day is for Peso. Clam, clam, Peso, clam, clam, Peso. Quasi. Are you all right, Peso? Well, it's getting a bit cosy. Look out! We've got to get out of here before we're all clam sandwiches. It's too heavy. We need a... Whale! What? Simon! Whoa! I did it! I did it! I died! I knew you could do it! Yeah, that's great, but we've still got to save... Peso! Hey, look, it's Simon. Out of my way! I've got you, Peso! <laughs> but how do we get it open? Hmm. Don't worry. We've dealt with giant clams before. 
Ready, Quasi? Aye, Captain. Ready. Ready, Peso? Ready. All right. When I give the command, tickle, pull, leap. Tickle. That's it. Now, pull. <laughs> <laughs> Leap! <laughs> Phew! Hooray! Good job, everyone. Especially you, Simon. Thanks for helping to save me. No problem. Hey, who wants to go back down? We should put the giant clam back where we found him. Oh, I can do it. <laughs> For me, he can do it. He can do it. He did it. <laughs> We're coming up to the trench, Captain. Excellent, Dashy. Steady as she goes. That must be it. It looks really deep. Let's find a safe place to set the ship down near the trench. Prepare to land. Shiver, whiskers. The sea floor's all pink and wiggly looking. Dashy, pull up. Now. I'm on it, Captain. We'll have to find another place to land. That looks like a good spot. Captain, I noticed we changed course. Is everything all right? I don't know, Shellington. What do you make of that? Fascinating, Captain. Those are sea pigs. Sea pigs? Yes. Sea pigs are creatures that live in the deep ocean, but they don't swim. They walk around on the seafloor with little legs. And it looks like they're walking straight towards the trench. That's not good. If they fall in, they won't be able to swim out. That's a long way to fall, matey. That's not the only problem. Sea pigs eat bits of food that drift down from the surface of the ocean, and hardly any of it gets down that far. Aye, so they'd be stuck and hungry. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, a large herd of sea pigs is heading towards the trench. We have to stop them before they fall in. We'll need guffs A, B, C, D, and E. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Attention, sea pigs. You must turn around. You're walking straight towards... Oh, food. Yum, yum, yummy food. No. It's a very deep trench. If you continue on your course, you will... Please, listen to me. The trench is really deep, and there's no food for you down there. Food, you say? Of course, that's it. Captain, I think the sea pigs may have picked up the scent of food on the other side of the trench. They can smell food from very far away. Then we'd better find whatever it is the sea pigs are smelling and bring it over to this side of the trench for them to eat. Quasi, Tweak, Dashy and Shellington, you come with me. Peso, stay here and keep an eye on the sea pigs. Aye, aye, Captain. Stop! There's no food down there. This must be what the sea pigs are smelling. Yeah, those fellows actually eat this slimy stuff. It's rotten sea kelp that's fallen down from the surface. For sea pigs, it's very healthy. Healthy or not, I reckon it smells awful. I'm glad I've got this helmet on. <laughs> It'll take forever to gather all this up. Captain, the sea pigs are getting closer to the edge. You have to hurry. Ugh, but there's no way we can get this slop over to the sea pigs in time. Unless... Octonauts, stay here and load this into the gups as quickly as you can. In the meantime, I think there might be a way to distract them. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, I know it smells, but we need to make something even smellier. Can you use this to cook an extra smelly feast for a huge herd of hungry sea pigs? And fast. Sure. Ah, super tapu. <laughs> Awful. Great work. I'm sure the sea pigs will love it. <laughs> Captain, I can't hold them back any longer. And you won't have to. <laughs> Flappity flippers. They're turning around. Steady as we go, Tunip. Hold her here while I unload the sea pig's feast. Too bad, Chubble. Uh-oh. Hey, sir, the Gup X is sinking into the mud. We need your help now. On my way, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Peso. Let's hope that cup of yours can take the strain. Okay, Tunip. Full reverse power. Oh. Let's go. Quasi, Tunip has fallen into the trench. I need you to go after him, fast. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else, some of the sea pigs have followed the Gup X into the trench. We need to rescue them, too. Go aye, aye, Captain. Captain. <laughs> For your tunic. Tunic, where are you, matey? Prancel? Tunic. Stuck a stuck a there. Tunic, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Prancel. He must be buried in the mud, but there's a lot of mud down here. Hello. Goodbye. We can't save them one by one, Cap. It'll take too long. Then we'll have to round them up. Octonauts, follow me as fast as you can. We're going to make a sea pig whirlpool. Peso, open the Gup E's holding tank. Got you. There you go. <laughs> Quasi, any sign of Tunip and the glider? No, Captain. They they disappeared. Request backup. We need more than backup, Quasi. We need a plan. Food. And I think I might just have one. It's no good. Tunip could be anywhere. That's why we're going to sniff him out. All right, little sea piggy. Food. Find food. Oh, food. Mmm, smell food. Over there. Captain, what? There was still some of the sea kelp cake left on top of the glider. 
Our friend there is sniffing it out. Look there. It looks like... <laughs> Hello! Tulip! Super! Super! You did it! Hooray! Well done, guys! Thanks for your help. I don't know what we'd have done without you. Food! Food! More food! <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. They <laughs> sure do like that smelly stuff. Which is more than can be said for poor Tunip. <laughs> Here we are, the lava tubes. Great, let's get started. I don't see any lava. That's because it's all underground. The hot lava flows under the seabed. When it dries, it makes caves like these. They're called lava tubes. Inside, it can get very hot. How hot? That's what we're going to find out. Shellington. We'll use these special thermometers to see how hot they are. But going inside a lava tube can be dangerous. So we'll check from the outside, like this. Oh, this one's very, very hot. Fascinating. I've used a thermometer lots of times to take sick creatures' temperatures. This shouldn't be too hard. Just be careful, everyone, and watch out for loose boulders and steam vents. Steady, steady. Oh, this would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster. Hey, buddy, you all right? Um, who said that? I did, down here. Huh? Uh, the name's Frank. What's yours? Um, Peso? Peso? We heard you shout. Is everything all right? I, I'm fine, but I found a rock, and its name is Frank. I think the heat might be getting to him, Captain. Hiya, fellas. I'm Frank. Oh, <gasps> but how? Aha! Uh -huh. Fascinating. Well, what do you see? Frank isn't a rock. He's a water bear. How you doing? Water bears are tiny creatures that live all over the world. That's right. Oceans, forests, snowy mountains. We live everywhere. My uncle Gary even went into outer space. But you're so small. We may be small, but we're tough. You gotta be tough to live around here. With all the lava tubes and big rocks and sweet bad. Frank! The lava tube! Huh? What? Yeah. Time to sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, a teeny tiny water bear has fallen into a hot lava tube and we've got to get him out. Captain, exploring lava tubes is extremely dangerous. You never know when one might suddenly erupt. Then we'll need some way to look inside and see what we're dealing with. Dashy? Already on it, Captain. This rover cam will show us the inside of the lava tube. Looks hot. I just hope Frank is all right in there. Dashy, over there. It's Frank's rock. Can you pick it up, Dashy? I'll try. He's 
and find Frank ourselves. You can't just swim into a lava tube. It's as hot as an oven in there. That's why I brought these. Heat-proof diving suits. These will protect you from the heat, and the Octo Goggles will help you see Frank. If we follow the Robocam's cable, it should lead us to Frank's rock. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Captain, there's a lot of unusual lava movement beneath the cave. It could erupt at any moment. You better find Frank quickly. Oh, uh oh, get down! Oh, I thought the whole cave was going to collapse. Ah, I can't see. Look, the rover cat is right here in front of us. Uh, Wazi. Oh yeah. These octo goggles really do make things look bigger. Look, there's Frank's rock. Frank! He's not there. Oh no. Hey, so, buddy! Over here! Frank, are you alright? We're here to rescue you. Hey, it's pretty great down here, ain't it? I met a lot of nice folks. There's Joe. Hi there. And Eddie. How you doing? And Laverne. Hello. And that's old Pops. Oh, howdy. You mean water bears can actually live down here? We sure yep. can. <laughs> but don't you little mateys get hot? I told you we was tough. A little heat don't bother us. Captain, the lava tube is about to erupt. We're on our way out, Dashi. You water bears should come with us. Ah, oh, we're good. We don't mind the heat. Yeah, we like it hot. Harder the better. Oh, we're happy where we are. But the whole cave is about to fill up with lava. No problem. We'll be just fine. Hold on, did you say lava? Ah. Run for your lives! Ah. <laughs> 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 Our little legs don't go so fast. Here. Hop on. Don't mind if I do. I'll follow the fence. Now that's the traveling oh, I stay out. Is it just me, or is it getting hotter in here? Yeah. Lava. We have to hurry. This would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster. Come on, Hazo. My Uncle Gary always says, it doesn't matter how big or fast you are, you just gotta be tough. How can you be sleepy at a time like this? When water bears get really hot, we go to sleep until it's safe to wake up. You see what I mean? Just a little bit further. Look out! <laughs> Whoa! Everybody okay? I think so. Water bears? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, we're good. Are you okay? Uh, never better. Wake me when it cools down. Good. Now let's move. Wait, where's Frank? Uh, he, he was just here. Yo, Frankie! Frank, where are you? He must have fallen off. He's not here. But that means he's somewhere back there. On the other side of those rocks? We can't leave him behind. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find a way to get through that rock pile. But we'll have to hurry. Allow me, Captain. Your turn. <clears throat> I can see the other side. One of you will have to swim through. That tunnel's too small for me. But it's just the right size for me. <laughs> it's all up to you, Peso. I'm coming for you, Frank. <sighs> Frank, where are you? He could be anywhere. Frank, is that you? Frank! Oh, thank goodness! 
flappity flippers. Hey, so hurry. Oh, we're going for a ride. Gotcha, Maisie. Let's go. Octonauts, keep going. Made it! Hooray! Ah. That was a close one. <sighs> hey, we're outside. What did I miss? Everybody made it out of the lava tube safe and sound. You said it, and it's all thanks to Peso. Peso! Way to go! I know you had it in you, buddy. I may not be the biggest or the fastest, but I'm still tough. He sure is. You're even is. tougher than my Uncle uh, Gary. Yeah, the toughest penguin I ever saw. That's our buddy. What? What? Shiver me whiskers. <laughs> Whoa! What is it? Good question. I'll get my camera. <sighs> Captain, I saw something strange. Something amazing. Something like that? <gasps> oh! <Whoa>. Fantastic! Hi, <laughs> but what is it, me hearties? Shellington? I have no idea, Captain. I'm searching the creature collection right now. It certainly is beautiful. Found it. It's a giant siphonophore. A giant si what for? A giant siphonophore. Quite mysterious. Not much is known about it yet because it only lives in the very deep water of the midnight zone. In fact, if it goes up any higher than we are now, it'll burst. Oh no, why? The giant siphonophore lives deep under the water. That means it's used to having a lot of water pressing down on it. When it comes up, there's less and less water pressing down on it. If it goes too high, the giant siphonophore will get bigger and bigger and burst. Flappity flippers. So, that's why we've never seen one before. It has to stay down in the midnight zone. I wonder why it glows. And what's on the end of those tentacles? Oh, it's swimming away. Captain, I've got to follow it. I'll get photos nobody's ever seen before. And I'll come with you, matey. It's hard to steer a gut and snap photos at the same time. Make sure you wear your deep sea suits. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Take the guppy and remember... Be careful! Oh! Excuse me. I can't stop now. Oh, sorry. Gotta hurry. <laughs> Tweak, open the... After hatch. You got it, Quasi. <laughs> Where'd it go? Over there, into the trench. This must be the tail. I need to get closer to the head. Aye, hold on, me hearty. Captain, there's a field of geysers at the bottom of that trench. Those geysers could be dangerous. They're like volcanoes, except when they erupt, they send up explosions of water and steam. Understood. Quasi, come in, Quasi. Woohoo! This is amazing! Wow, it's fantastic! This creature is huge! Ah, oh, it's longer than a blue whale! Quasi, watch out for... Hi, Captain. We've caught up with the giant siphonophore. Siphonophore! I was close. Quasi, you're heading straight for a field of geezers. There's peas in the freezer. Ah! <gasps> <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! We're sitting on top of a geezer! Quasi, Dashy, come in! Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, 
Ozzy and Dashie are in danger. We're going after them. Peso, Shellington, into the Gup Sea. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Tweak, open the Octo Hatch. You got it, yeah. We haven't been properly introduced. You're that giant siphonophore. We are the giant siphonophore. Uh, we look like one big creature, but we're actually a group of smaller creatures. We work together, see? Each of us has a special job to do. Some of us can light up once you follow our lights and get close enough. Then. We do our jobs. We get our hooks in you, see? And then we use our powerful stingers to sting you. Like this. Uh, What's wrong? This. What's the problem? What's stinging? What's talking? Our oh. deep sea suits are too thick for their stingers to get through. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't sting us, you scurvy beasties! Bah! This is shocking. Our plan is perfect. Lights, hooks, stingers. Well, you won't be having us for dinner, you giant si food of four. That's what I said. Another geezer. You've got to let us go and move away from here. Oh, we're not giving up that easily. But we're right on top of a pizza. We're going up! And if you go up too high... We'll burst! Let's try to grab that ledge and pull us all off the geezer! Aye, unhook our arms! Good idea, see? Grab! No. Oh, awfully nice of you to save us after our little dinner misunderstanding. <laughs> There's the gulp. Can't see Dashi or Quasi. And something else is on its way up. It's the Siphonophore! Captain! <laughs> if the giant Siphonophore rises higher than the octopod, it will burst! Then we'll have to find a way to stop it. Barnacles to tweak. Dashi, Quasi, and the giant Siphonophore are trapped in a geezer. We need to keep them from going any higher than the octopod. And we need to do it now. Well, Cap, could use the octopod's bubble engine to push him back down. Good plan, Tweak. Hurry. Got it, Cap. Hold on, everyone. Hi, Captain. We don't really have a choice. Judith, while I put the bubble engine in reverse, you need to move the octopod so it's right over the trench. Just there, that button. Perfect. Super, super. Hold on to your tentacles, see? Well, at least we aren't going up anymore. Oh, oh dear. I may be uh, sick. I hope you're not. I don't know how much longer we can keep this going, Kim. Don't worry. We'll pull them out now. Peso, you drive. Aye, Captain. Wazzy, Dashy, grab on. <laughs> Peso, move the cup C forward. Is everyone all right? Hi, Captain. That was a wild ride. 
I feel a bit dizzy, but I'm okay. We'll be fine once everything stops spinning. <sighs> well, that was a close one, see? Oh, my tentacles are all in a twist. Sorry we tried to eat you at first. Uh, you've done so much for us. I wish there was something we could do for you. Well, there is something you could do. Truly a fantastic <gasps> sight. Wow. Wow. Look at the siphonophore. You said it right. Ha. Okay, everybody. Lights, hooks, stingers. Say seaweed. 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 Barnacles. I'm waiting. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. 